My name's Dr. David Allinson. Dennis Loveday. I'm Dr. Christina Hopfer. My name's Malcolm Cook. And I'm a lecturer in building physics. Professor of building physics. Senior lecturer in sustainable building design. Professor of building performance analysis here at Loughborough University. One of the projects that I'm working on is looking at how central heating controls could contribute to that energy reduction. Using this pair of identical houses, we put the new type of smart controls in one and we put an ordinary set of heating controls in the other house. This unique study will give us a real understanding of how much energy can be saved by central heating controls. The research is to investigate the effect that higher air motion can have in helping to keep us cool as opposed to using air conditioning. And we are approaching this by using a heated thermal mannequin. The mannequin is heated. We have a thermal imaging camera with a fan as you might have at home. We are looking at the airflow patterns which we are measuring by means of these airspeed probes. This test facility consists of the inside, which represents the inside of a house, an exterior chamber in which we can simulate exterior weather conditions. So the beauty of this is basically that we can test, for example, heat and moisture through and within wall assemblies under fixed inside and outside um, conditions over a prolonged period of time. It's actually one of the most advanced test facilities on hydrothermics in Europe. This test facility at Loughborough University will help us to not only build energy efficient buildings but to build resilient buildings, buildings that are robust, long lasting for sustainable building design in the future. I'm involved in how we can use natural ventilation as opposed to mechanical ventilation for conditioning buildings. Primarily uh, non-domestic buildings, school building design, libraries. What we do is to submerge this model inside this large tank of fresh water here, upside down, because we're then going to inject a brine solution. And that brine solution is going to represent the heat rising. Because the brine is denser, than the water, everything happens upside down. After visualising the flow in this way, we're able to use the data that we collect from this model for, for testing and validating our computer models. Buildings play a major role in greenhouse gas emissions, 60% of which is contributed to heating and cooling alone. So if we are going to reach our greenhouse gas emission reduction targets, then considering the amount of energy we use in our homes is going to be a really important part of that. It's so important that we conduct this research to understand energy demand in buildings with a view to reducing that energy demand whilst maintaining people's comfort, health and well-being, which in turn will help save the planet and help the UK towards achieving its carbon reduction targets.